Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I wanna take a look at one of my favorite police LiDAR guns, the LTI True Speed S. Now the True Speed S, it's a really compact LiDAR gun. I know it's really popular with motorcycle officers who don't have a ton of space on their bike, uh, but even in a traditionally sized vehicle like this, if you've got a ton of equipment in the car, it's nice to have something pretty compact. Uh, now, one thing that I really like about it is actually the viewfinder. It actually has a built-in uh, 7X scope. So it's gonna be zoomed way into cars and makes it so much easier to pick out uh, individual cars, including at a distance. Now, the zoom level, it's not adjustable here in this gun. It always has this uh, 7X scope, but it's gonna be way more zoomed in than you'll find with like a traditional LiDAR gun that doesn't have any zoom at all. Uh, there are a couple adjustment options to so things like adjusting the placement here of the eyepiece if you wear glasses and a little diopter adjustment as well uh, to adjust the focus if you wear glasses. A couple buttons here on the top of the gun. So you've got your uh, trigger to basically point at a car, push the button right here, and it's gonna go ahead and lock in the speeds. Uh, you've got a button here to adjust different settings, which I'll show you here in just a minute. And then two other buttons here, one to adjust the brightness in the viewfinder, and then the other one uh, to adjust the different shooting modes of the gun. On the front of the gun, you've got uh, two different lenses, one for transmit and receive, uh, data communications port, as well as the battery that just uh, slides right into there. Now there's three different versions of this gun. This is the True Speed S, which is kind of the basic version. Uh, there's also the True Speed SX, which has a tilt sensor built in, which officers can use for uh, accident reconstruction purposes. And there's also the True Speed SXB, uh, which adds Bluetooth to the True Speed SX. And so this is just the TrueSpeed S. All of them in terms of laser functionality, they're gonna behave the same. And so as a tester, this one's totally fine. It's also the cheaper one. But yeah, the other ones are all the same, just have some extra features for officers that are useful for them. Um, in terms of jamming, it's jammable by all of the different uh, top laser jammers out there, which is nice. TrueSpeed S, ahead. Oh, I've also found that this one is really good at shooting in the rain. Unlike some of the other guns that struggle, uh, if it's raining out, this one actually does a good job of locking on two vehicles, even in the rain, which is probably one of the reasons why uh, it's so popular out here in the state of Washington. And I really like this gun as well. Uh, it's probably my favorite LiDAR gun that I own. Just so easy to shoot. Doesn't freak out other people. The zoom is really nice here. Um, and it does a great job of locking onto... Well, that was not a good snap. Does a good job of locking onto cars. <laughs> um, and in fact, I've actually got a spot here in my car uh, where I keep it permanently installed. So I've always got available for testing or just playing around if I've got some free time. Um, but let's go ahead and take a closer look here at the gun. Uh, we'll start first uh, with what it looks like from the officer's perspective, and then we'll go into some of the different uh, settings and options here available in the gun. So as you can see, you can basically just point the gun at different cars, push the button, and speeds are gonna be displayed uh, in the viewfinder. You'll be able to see both the speed of the vehicle as well as the distance to the vehicles. It works well locking onto the front of the vehicles as well as to the rear, and it does a good job both with targets that are closer up uh, as well as picking off targets that are farther away. And so all they really have to do is just point it at different cars, uh, push the big trigger right here, and boom, they've got the speed. Um, now, next, let's go ahead and take a closer look here at the gun. We'll take a look at the uh, different shooting modes, uh, the brightness adjustment, as well as uh, the different uh, settings that are available here in the gun. It's a pretty simple gun. There's not a ton of options. It's fairly straightforward. And let's go ahead and take a closer look now at what all is available. So as far as different shooting modes, we've got a single shot mode like this, where you can basically just uh, point it at a car, and it's going to display both the speed and the distance to the car and then it's gonna stop firing once it has that information. Uh, you can also set it to continuous mode, uh, and then when you point it at a car, it's gonna to continue to update uh, both the speed and the distance uh, as they maybe get closer or farther away, or they speed up or slow down or something. So this is usually the mode that I like. Uh, there's also a poor weather mode like this, so in case it's raining or snowing, um, and the gun is having trouble uh, locking on a speed, you can use that. I do find that it doesn't do quite as good of a job, plus it seems to do well even without poor weather mode in the rain, so I usually don't use it. Uh, and then finally, if you want, you can also combine continuous mode uh, and poor weather mode like this. But usually the way that I'll do it is just continuous like this without poor weather mode. Uh, we also have the ability to adjust the brightness in the viewfinder. So that's going to be uh, another button. So you can see we've got a couple different options. So maybe dimmer at night uh, and then start making it a little brighter in the daytime. Uh, and then as far as the different uh, settings that are in the gun, there's really only a couple. Uh, if we go into there first, you can see we've got the option to light up uh, all the LEDs in the screen just to make sure everything is working properly. We've got our... Uh, kind of viewfinder scope test. So you can see if I point it at a shiny object, uh, it's gonna give me a higher pitch reflection. And then if I move it away from that shiny object, the pitch goes down. So this is basically a way just to ensure that the uh, scope is aligned with what the gun is producing like that. We also have the ability uh, to do some uh, quick distance measurements. So for their kind of like self calibrations and measurements and stuff, they can use uh, the Delta distance tool. Uh, they've got a self test, which they can do. The gun will also do the same thing here at startup. Uh, we have the ability to show both the model number and the firmware version of the gun right here. Uh, and then finally, we can also see the serial number of the gun. 
So really not a ton of options. It's relatively straightforward in that sense, but overall, uh, it does a great job of locking into cars. Uh, the gun also boots up really quick, unlike a lot of other guns. Uh, and then when you need to use it, great to hold and uh, great to shoot as well. And so yeah, that's just a quick look here at the LTI True Speed S. Compact gun, fairly simple, but does a really good job uh, and is actually really nice to shoot. Uh, if you're looking for a laser jammer to combat it, most of the top tier laser jammers should be able to handle it. Uh, I run and recommend the ALP in general. If you'd like to see a comparison of uh, the different laser jammers that are available, uh, I'll link to that down in the video description. Uh, and then finally, if you'd like to see videos on some additional police laser guns or radar guns, I'll link to that down in the video description as well, or you can click the buttons on screen. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're all doing great, and I'll see you in the next video.